17 once again. This is Dark Souls, and this is going to be a live playthrough of that game. Not quite a guide per se. A lot of people have been asking for a guide, and this can stand as one because uh, I've played the game quite a lot now, and I do know quite a lot, so I will be sharing as much knowledge with you as I can, but uh, this is Dark Souls, so I'll be sharing death with you, I'll be sharing, you know, despair with you. Uh, who knows? It's It should be pretty interesting because this is one of those games that even if you know it, it can still fuck you up. And it does it in some really, you know, fortuitous ways. But the first thing I'd like to say is I do apologise if anybody wanted the, the live blind playthrough that I mentioned. It was a great idea, but it was just impractical with the timing. And uh, I don't even know why I'm so fucking optimistic right now, because I have no way to edit. Uh, I, s I say edit. I've got no way to render these videos as much as I would love to share them with you. So if you don't see them for a while, I do apologise, but, you know, technology hates me, and uh, I blame everything. I truly do. But let's get this started by pressing the start button and hearing the first lilt of the game. Which is a big nasty noise. <laughs> Like that. And we're going to go new game, and we're going to be introduced to some rocking music. And one of my favourite things about this game is how they use music. It's extremely minimalist, and some people will probably call it crappy, but I don't think that's true at all, because it's just... Oh, there's just something about it, man. Creative use of music is pretty damn fucking awesome. I think everybody can agree with that. Uh, who? What should we be called? I should probably have asked people what they wanted me to be because I'm not too sure what I'm going to specialise in. Shall I call myself Barry? You'll notice there's a theme in my videos. I generally name myself something stupid when I'm recording because I'm just, I'm just that kind of guy. But I'll go with something less ridiculous because, you know, why not? Osiris! Just got the new Nile album so it's kind of apt. Even though the album itself, I'm not kind of digging it yet. Uh, Gift-wise, you should always take the master key, unless you're interested in the dialogues with the Chaos Sister, which is with the Pendant. Everything else can be found, slash earned. Uh, these two bottom ones, uh, no, sorry, this one, a little bit more difficult. You have to do trades with a, a, a crow that's annoying as fuck. But you want the master key, it makes Blighttown so much easier. Alright, shall we be very fat? Top heavy. Wow, how big is his fucking head? <laughs> no one's gonna play like that. Even if you're a stocky guy, you're not gonna pick that dude. You don't wanna see a hero running around with, like, fucking muffin topping. Let's go average. Right, this is where the game is definitely not that RPG. I mean, look at these faces. The only place you see people that are this special are generally on a bus as they drive past you with their tongue on the glass. I mean, look at these. Look at that guy. Look at the difference. Rapist. Non-rapist. Rapist. Non-rapist. Whoa, what would his eyes go? Let's look at these people. The, the, their eyes get closer together the further down you go. What shall we be? Far East Traveller. Eerie Great... What? That guy kind of... I don't even know what film he's from, but he looks like somebody. That guy looks like a Hellgast. I might have to go with this kid purely because his face is just ridiculously bad. And that's not because he's black. This is not a racial thing before anybody drops that truth bomb down. A star and noble. Very effeminate. Handsome face of the refined, apparently. Would you call that guy handsome? Chiseled jaw. No cauliflower ears. Didn't do any wrestling. <laughs> it's, it's just ridiculous. I'm going with a commoner, people. I'm not that creative. That is not receding. That is barely receding. That is a Christopher Lee of receding. I almost felt comb overs and shit. I mean, look at that. Where's the, like, hair down to your feet? That's the guy I want to be. Semi long. It's not long, son. Like, just in long, if you think that's long. What? Yeah, because that looks curly. I've got a ball sack that would beg to differ. Bob. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, I can't do it. Uh, 
Let's go with Wild. Make him look a little bit like the Hulk, as played by Louis Ferrigno. Dark purple. I wonder if there's a copyright on deep purple. You gotta go with platinum hair. Anybody who's chased a platinum shadow in the game Legend of Dragoon knows you have to go with silver. And I should really pick my class. Actually, I hadn't noticed this. If you come away from this... Oh no, not gift, goddammit. If you come away from the class screen after you've picked them, you can see what items they get. So that guy gets, it looks like a, a, a kite shield or a caduceus shield. He's got the standard night gear. Oh, I can see it on the picture as well. My bad. It's like a short sword. He starts level five. Uh, my experience with this game is I've played as a wanderer. Oh, I'm probably gonna pick up for this one because I think I'm gonna do a dexterity build. I've also played as a pyromancy though, just because he was level one. And my intention was to take him down the pyromancy tree, but I ended up becoming a sorcerer. And I've got to say, people, if you want a way to cheese almost every boss, except for Seath. Seath has given me a little bit of trouble. Uh, the, the sorcery route is ridiculously powerful. Like, I killed the Capra Demon without being hit, and I was, like, level 20 or something, which is kind of low for new players, but for more experienced players, it's probably a little high. I've been using that armor as well, the, the bandit armor looks pretty cool. Oh, the thief armor, sorry. I wanted to play somebody else. Because my only problem when you pick... I mean, look at that guy. Is that a buckler? I can't quite tell. But the warrior gets a heater shield, which would be my first shield of the game. Because it's such a good shield, it gets 100 defense against physical. He also starts with what looks like a sword. Uh, a long sword, perhaps. That's the, the Kite or Caduceus shield. I'm not too sure on it. That's probably a round shield. That is a buckler shield, I think. One of the faster parries. Spider shield, extremely useful for Blight Town. That could be a heavy shield. I'm not too sure. I don't think I've seen that shield before. He will not get a shield. Or he will, and it's dog shit. Maybe not. Pyromancer gets a broken fucking shield. Look at that dog shield. That looks like somebody's used it as a horse and cart wheel. That is a wooden shield with some pattern on it. It looks kind of cool. Deprived. What? Unclothed Enigma. Only armed with club and old plank shield. Is that like the, the hardcore class? Why is every stat 11? Guy's level 6. So I, I see a lot of people mentioning the plank shield and I've never used it. It must be the ultimate sign of badassery if you can... You know, player versus player with a faggy shield wearing a ridiculous man thong. But we're going to go with Wanderer. And that is it, folks. We are starting our Dark Souls adventure.